Hello and welcome back to Friday Minis. Today, let's talk about endianness, which is a surprising problem that we don't even expect to be a problem. Here's what the whole thing means. As you know, on a computer, main memory is split up into bytes, and bytes are of course 8 bits in length. However, a lot of the values that we use, for example an integer, is at least 4 bytes. And what that means is, in order to represent one number, we have to string together 4 bytes and read them all as one to derive the final value. The weirdness with endianness is that when we want to express these 4 bytes in memory, we can actually stick them there in any order. Now, obviously, the more intuitive kind of ordering would of course be the most significant bits go to the left, and we basically you know, populate the smaller and smaller values towards the right. This would be just like how we actually represent a number when we write it down on paper. This is called Big Endian. And as it turns out, if you have a computer running the Intel x86 architecture, that isn't how the numbers are stored. Instead, numbers are stored in little endian format, which means that all the values are actually inverted. The least significant byte comes first, and then it gets more and more significant as we go down. This is interesting and a little bit weird. Why do we have two different representations? Well, while Big Endian is more readable to us as humans, remember that ultimately at the end of the day, it is a machine that's going to be processing all this information. We can really write things in any order we like. As long as our software is capable of handling that particular order, everything will come out alright. So of course, there is that danger there. If you're writing a program expecting input in one particular format, but you get it in the other, well, your result is going to come out entirely corrupted. What's worse is there is actually no way to just look at a file and decide whether it's Big Endian or Little Endian. You actually have to know something about the device that created the file, because you need to know what convention that device uses. So yeah, that's Endianness for you, a little bit of weirdness when it comes to computer architecture. Now, notice we haven't discussed which is better, because from what I could find, there is a lot of debate about which is better, which is more optimized, and there hasn't really been a very conclusive result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to include a Stack Overflow link in the video description. You can actually read arguments on both sides, and then decide for yourself to see what works best for you. That's all there is for this episode of Friday Minis. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, you're watching 0612 TV. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, consider checking out the rest of my work on my channel. Alternatively, you may be interested in a playlist of all the other episodes of Friday Minis. If you'd like to show me some monetary support, I am on Patreon. You can find a link to my campaign in the video description. Of course, you can simply like this video or leave a comment. I'll be sure to respond as soon as I can. To keep in touch with my future uploads, do subscribe to this channel. And for even more updates, check out the official Twitter account for this channel at 0612TV. Thank you for your support.